You're right, Phil, we up to? Roger, welcome back to Rat4 UK. Um, we've had an email in from a customer um, basically asking if the Apex will fit onto a shaft 4. Um, Apex 2, that is. So we're just going to run through a few things with you. We've got a fine selection of bits and bobs here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Apex as it comes as standard from Rat4 is as is, okay, and that's the barrel adapter which is already fitted inside this version um, for the Apex 2. So basically all our tactical barrels, like this one, have threaded ends which are take the muzzle brakes and also fit straight into this Apex as standard. That's with the Rat, that's a Rat4 Apex. That's a Rat4 two. Apex, yeah. All right, so that's the Apex 2 as standard from Rat4 will take all our tactical barrels and that's the insert, that's the insert okay. So now, question was, will this fit a shaft four? Yes, it will. Okay, and I will run through it with you now. Okay, so we just set the standard one aside a moment. Okay, so you can see here we've got another Apex, Apex 2, but this one is fitted with a Deadly Wind Apex adapter inside, which comes with a clamp as well. So you can see this is the Apex 2 adapter, all right? Compare it to the sort of standard Rat4 tactical, and you can see there's a big difference there. Okay. One's metal, one's plastic. Yep. Yeah. And this one's threaded, this one's not. Okay. So the Deadly Wind one's a plastic, isn't it, basically? Yeah. Okay, so basically, you know, this will fit on shaft fours, which we're going to demonstrate now. So, okay. So we've got a selection here. We've got this nice Deadly Wind whip tip shaft four. And then we've got a stiffy barrel here as well, which we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, so basically, with the Deadly Wind barrel adapter in, it's as simple as. I may say this is a whip tip, all right? That just pushes in like so. Put your clamp in. Obviously, you need to make the adjustments to the clamp. Obviously, the best thing to do is to screw it all in, and then you can line up the apex on there by twisting it around as you position you want, and then clamping it in. Obviously, that's not done it properly as it should, but that is your shaft four deadly wind whip tip apex fitting. Let's see what it looks like on the Planet Eclipse then. All right, so yeah, so I'll just remove that from here. Just bear with me a second. Okay, so here you can see we've got this very nice ether line here. So just slip that on, firstly, and then put this on. Okay, this is just to show, so I'm not gonna clamp it down really, really tight. But basically just put that in position. Once it's all in position, obviously when you put your barrels and everything together. So there you go. That's it fitted on the ether. All right. Right, yeah. Very N good. Nice and straightforward, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So now, somebody who's got a stiffy barrel, you know, will obviously may like the option of having an apex, but there's a, a slight catch. What you will need. Or a deadly wind null barrel. Or a deadly wind null barrel, in fact. So with the deadly wind null barrel, you'll need this null barrel adapter, apex adapter, okay? Yeah. But this will also fit the stiffy barrels, and the way that it works is simple. Okay, just drop it on first, you can see, like so. Fit this as normal. That pushes into the position there. Pushes inside like so. That expands it a little bit when you do this. Okay. Okay, so that's in now. Okay, so obviously, you know, the null barrel or the stiffy is slightly less diameter than this one, than the, the whip tip. Or your shafts, yeah. Yeah, okay. So once that's in place, obviously then you need to make the adjustments on this again. Because you so want the it. adjustments on the clamp feed, that's just an Allen key, isn't it? Yeah, basically just an Allen key, okay. And again, you make the adjustments, obviously. So we'll have to back this one off just a little bit so it fits over. So it's not fully adjusted out, like so. Okay, and then that basically goes over like so. Once you've adjusted it, like that. So now it's just a little bit of a fiddle, but it will go. Be with. Just make sure I've got it right around because strange things have happened. Let's see. Okay. So obviously you get it all in your position again, and then obviously you clamp it into position. And, and the side looks better, doesn't it? But awesome. So as a summary, if you want to fit an Apex 2, then... Deadly Wind Apex Adapter required. Lovely. And if you want to fit it to a stiffy or to a null Deadly Wind Barrel, you'll need the, the little insert. null insert. But it's something else I can show you as well, which is really cool for, 
the deadly wind. Okay. All right, just bear with. Let me take this apart. It's cosmetic, but it's good. Do you want to continue that carbon fibre feel? Yeah, so that's it. A lot of people will be thinking, you know, I've got a nice deadly wind barrel, blah, 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 blah. What deadly wind do is a knife sheath or shroud for the apex. All right, so you can see there, that's the deadly wind. You know, you can see it's exactly the same pattern, okay? So all you need to do, it's a little bit fiddly. It's easy enough to do, though. This section here where the, select, the selector bit is, push that in, push the inside of the apex out, so to speak, okay? And then you just basically put this version on, over the top like that, make sure it's all lined up nicely, clicks into place, like so, and see it changes the look completely. All right, it's nice that, all right. On like so, make sure I've got that right way around, because there's a little lip on there, obviously. It sits up tight against there. Obviously, it's a little bit loose because I've adjusted it for the other one. But that completes the look. Very good. Very nice. I so, that covers our Apex our, adapter. For the shaft fours. Awesome. So, Planet Eclipse markers, there's quite a few of them. I've got the shaft four fitted. Yeah. So, you can fit an Apex tray on it. Yeah. That's if uh, you want one, of course. But uh, as you can see, great bit of kit. Looks the job. Right here. Cheers, Phil. You're more than welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye.